So I've been a um, professional magician for, for 20 years and there are lots of skills that magicians have involved in uh, that, that deal with persuasion and communication. It's obviously a big part of the job that we can communicate. And slowly what happened over time is I would be working with corporate clients and I did a lot of client stuff for them. So people would ask me to come in and do events that they're putting on for their clients. And, um, and they started saying things like, oh, you obviously get on really well with people. People obviously take to your messages really quickly and, and, and then people like it when you walk on stage. Can you, uh, can you teach us how to do that? And particularly, can you teach us how to do that with our clients? I haven't learned many skills in life, but I've learned one which I'm very proud of. It looks quite impressive on stage. This is the result, though, of an entirely wasted adolescence. <laughs> No love life, no friends, but a one-handed shuffle, Mary. All right, so this... And I realised that there were some really key skills and core skills that magicians have in terms of how do you get people's attention, how do you get people... Uh, how do you uh, get some empathy with people, how do you get rapport with people really quickly. There are some skills that magicians have, and we have to have them really well, um, because of how we pay the mortgage, uh, I, I, um, that I could transfer to people in business. Now, there are two reasons, right? Two reasons that I don't like being paid with out-of-date Iraqi dinars. Can you guess what the first reason is, the really obvious reason? You can't spend them. Can't spend them, right? Nothing, no, no shopping, nothing, nothing, nothing. What's the other reason that I particularly don't like them? Bearing in mind, my favourite colour is purple. Oh, they're red. They're red, they're not purple. Do you know a magic word? Uh, abracadabra. Say abracadabra after three. You ready? One, two, three. Abracadabra. That's amazing! <laughs> So the skill that magicians have and that I've taken into business is being able to say, look, this is what your clients are, un are hearing when you present, or this is what your colleagues are hearing when you present. These, these are the messages they're taking away, and they're different to the messages you think you're giving them. Um, and so you're going to get a result that you don't expect. On paper, we all look very similar. So it's in this area of how do I come across to other people? That's where we can really distinguish ourselves. That's where we can really stand out. There are two ways, really, that people can get the most out of a session with me. And one of those, obviously, is all in the build-up to the event. So the more that I can know about what the organiser wants to get out of the event and what the audience would most benefit from, that, that really helps me. And the second is for an audience to really engage. I try and build in lots of interactivity in what I do. There, there are lots of uh, uh, things for people to, to uh, exercises to try, challenges sometimes to try. So for people to really engage, but then immediately think of ways they can apply those to the real world. And obviously ask me questions throughout the, uh, throughout the session as well. And so if you're in a role of sales, for example, it's when you actually turn up and, and do a sales pitch, that's when you get the chance to make a difference. If you're trying to build your credibility internally, it's your ability to speak about what you do or connect with other people or get on with other people and build rapport with other people. That's what's going to make you stand out and help you to go further, faster.